Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Space. Today in this video session, we will discuss about uh, how to prevent a C Sharp attack in uh, SP.NET Core. Uh, is a CSRF attack. It's a cross-site request forgery uh, where uh, attacker forces the user to execute the unwanted actions to the applications that the user is logged in. The attacker tricks the user into performing action on their behalf. The impact of this attack depends on the level of permission that the user has. And for example, uh, if any, it's a uh, uh, bank websites uh, where a user uh, have the ownership of that account, then the attacker uh, could transfer an uh, amount of the money from the victims or they can control all the accounts. So, uh, to preventing in uh, SP.NET Core, uh, we have need to follow some steps. So uh, this is the blank sp.net core uh, template. It's uh, on a MVC pattern. So for uh, test, we firstly uh, go to the index index view. Uh, that is the this uh, index view here, index action method, and uh, like this is the uh, automatic generated code. Like we remove this. Like here we are writing a form tag. In sp.net core, uh, it's by default uh, added a uh, CR, uh, CSR uh, RF token. Uh, means if if we writing a like a controller name, it's a home, and then sp actions uh, like it's index. And if method is like as a post, then it's uh, automatically added a token uh, inside this form tag. Like uh, for example, I am taking this uh, input like uh, name, name it's a txt name and it's a type as a text and then taking one button uh, is a submit type and then writing a value submit and i also add a one push method here for testing here and this decorate as a http post And here I am taking I form collection. We need to add namespace for this. So yes, netcode.http. And here I am getting this uh, uh, input variable inside uh, this uh, string variable. It's uh, name copy fc then it's a control name now we run this application by default it's calling a home dot index method so we check uh, their html here you, you can see this uh, automatically added this request verification token this is the token that is automatically added when method is uh, as a push method and if we remove this then then this token will be removed we again check Again, check and pressing Control U. This method type uh, as a post because it's automatically uh, chosen this post method. If we also remove this, then 
then again check. Then, then this uh, not added any a token here. It's a blank. So again, and if if you want to ignore a means if if you want not uh, create any token, then uh, simply write it here like a uh, ASP entity positive true true false means uh, true means that you want to create a token and if going for false then again then again we need to check this will not uh, create any token for this and if we set this as a true then this will uh, create a token then this will create a token for this is automatically a uh, created a token uh, name as a request verification token so now uh, we want to validate this token this token is valid or not like like if i directly uh, means if if we modify uh, that token and push on a method like uh, any value like it's a pipe and we add a breakpoint here and we modify this token like I am modifying this pair values then this will post it on this uh, index method uh, because uh, I'm also tempering these uh, tokens, but it not validate. So for validating these tokens, we need to add some extra keyword here. So it's a valid validate anti positive token. It's validate the incoming token that uh, generated on a view. So we again run this application and we again uh, validate that token is valid or not now we again check like it's uh, it's created a token and like i modify this token here i'm modifying this like i change this uh, token and we again uh, post it this and again click on this submit button then this uh, so the error message this page is not working means here this not uh, posted on this method because uh, their token is tempered now uh, from outside so and if uh, token is valid then uh, this will be posted here so just go for here I mean this is storing uh, their values is a txt name and uh, this validate tokens uh, here uh, like uh, it's validate all the post get put all the methods but if we want only uh, that uh, that token is only uh, verifying the post request then uh, you can use uh, uh, auto auto validate entry positive token so this only validate a post methods so we again check this we can also uh, use this auto validate entry positive token on a controller base so if you any change this this will be posted here okay and if you want to miss all the uh, all the methods uh, uh, that come under to this controller need to uh, validate the tokens then we can decorate this controller with uh, auto auto validate entry repository token then this automatically uh, validate all the actions that uh,
come under this controller so we again check this and if if we modify the, their tokens click i am changing their tokens and again so again this is not working is this uh, uh, auto validate entry pause tokens only working for uh, push methods so if we change this for uh, validate entry posary then this will working for all and then this page will be not work because this uh, they need to validate all the all these actions uh, that has the get push or put methods so this will be not work for here so we change this here it's auto validate and if any actions uh, that you want to uh, ignore ignore the entry positive token then simply uh, we can write it here it's uh, ignore entry positive token so we again check this and we again modify their tokens then this will not validate uh, the entry positive token so so this is the complete process uh, for preventing and ignoring the crsf attack uh, on the sp.net core websites so if you have any problems any questions please write in a comment box i will reply you soon so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session and if you like my videos please click on subscribe button and also click for notification bell